my stepson right quick. What's up, man? I'm just kidding. Hey, check it out, y'all. We're with Pedro real quick. What's up, Pedro? Chilling, bro. Pedro's got a secret spot that he's taking us. Supposedly, iguanas have infested this place. Ain't that right, Pedro? Yep. Holy crap. Guys, look where we're at, though, guys. This is some Ricky Bobby stuff right here. That's actually a speedway right there that the legend himself, Ricky Bobby, was racing at, y'all. So that's pretty insane. It's pretty legendary. This is my first time ever being in this area. It's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. It's like, it's just a whole other world out here, to be honest with you guys. It's completely different than what I'm used to. Shout out to Pedro Hernandez Ramon. No, I'm just kidding. Shout out to Pedro for bringing us on this adventure, guys. He's guiding us for the day. You guys can check him out on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, we'll make sure and put the links. So if you guys want to get in contact with Pedro, you guys can. Yes, sir. We out, baby. Yes, buddy. Now we just got to find where the iguana nest is. We're set for the day. Okay, it looks like we might be where we need to be. Oh yeah, I see an iguana already, dude. There's an iguana right there, bro. Really? Yeah. Oh, shoot. You see it? Yeah. I wonder what kind of iguana that is, bro. It's probably a female. It was, it was dark iguana, bro. It's probably dark, dark. it's probably different subspecies, bro. Can we go? Can we go see if we can catch that iguana real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what the f is going on here? Yeah. Nah, it's open to this park, even though it is supposed to be closed. Which way do we go, bud? You go straight. Go straight. All right. Yeah. Somehow we were able to get ourselves in this park. All parks are closed down, and you know, practicing social distancing. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pedro, right here. He's our guy for the day, so he's taking us in here. Really appreciate him. And uh, yeah, we're just driving, looking for, uh, what are we looking for again, bro? One, iguanas, yeah. Very quiet there. Oh, I know, yeah. This place is crazy, look at this. Everything's all taped off. You see that, foam? Crazy, bro. Shaving cream. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. Guys, comment down below if you guys know what this foam stuff is. Look at this, y'all. They actually made it like a. I don't know what the heck this is. It's like a beach, I guess. From salt water. Look how weird this is, bro. Is this salt water, bro? Yeah. This is so freaking weird. It's like a beach within a beach. See the beach on the outside? And then I guess water comes in through those drains right over there. Yep. And then it's like this beach. Uh-oh. Some guys coming out. Be a troll. Being trolls. God dang it. Is he trolling us? No, he's not trolling us. Here, let's walk down there. I just seen some fish. Here, come here, troll boy. So this is salt water. Oh, look. Look, there's a fish right there, bro. It's a puppy fish. Yeah? Yeah. Are you hungry or no? You can go catch him if you want, bro. Look, oh my gosh. It's a whole school of little fish. I wonder what kind of fish are those, buddy? Bro, I won't be surprised if I see a baby shark in here. Come if we see a dog. baby shark, you're going after him? Heck it. Yeah? Guys, there's like a saltwater pool. In the middle. Oh, holy crap. Holy crap, that just scared me. Are you okay, Billy? Mm hmm Oh my goodness, guys, there's like, look at all these fish, what the freak? Dude, there's gotta be some giant fish in here. There's gotta be some shark in here, bro. 
Look at these fish. I don't know what kind of fish these are, dude. Mullet fish. Those are mullet fish? Yeah. How you know? You're not a fish expert, are you? Guys, comment down below if those are actually mullet fish or if Pedro is just lying to us. I think he's I think he's just telling us a fat lie, to be honest with you. Oh my god, there they all go right there. You know what, Pedro? Maybe you're right, bro. Maybe, maybe you deserve more credit than I'm giving you, bro. Yeah, that is a lot of them. Found right there, made by Nike. Check them out. Oh yeah. They're sand and snow resistant. But, okay, we're not here to look at this pool though. We're actually here to try to catch some iguanas. But, we have yet to see any. Okay. Check this out, this is insane. And if you look closely, you see these little like, I don't know if those are guppies or what, or what, oh my, dude, holy crap, look, look on the floor, there's fish sleeping. Do you see that? Yeah. What the heck are those, bro? Here, film about that, bro, film that. Sleeping fish. Yo, we saw some bird quitter right here. It's a small little baby. Nice find, nice find, Pedro, that's really cool. That was kind of right there. Look at all the wildlife here. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like two of fish. And a crab. That's a big that crab, is bro. That's wild, man. That is so wild. You hungry, Pedro? You hungry, bro? No. Well, I was about to say, if you were, man, we could probably go in there and spear that crab, bro. I'm allergic to the crab. Are you? Yeah. Aw. Well, hey, I guess more for me to eat, man. You're just going to I got lunch. You're going to have to find out your food source, bro. All right. <laughs> Guys, crabs, puffers. We're with our friend Pedro. The Hiwana hunter. Okay, from Nicaragua. Okay, no I'm kidding. <laughs> from Mexico. Okay, and he knows the Hiwana. Just kidding, just kidding. All right, he just he could just smell the iguanas, y'all. This is not ridiculous, but it's true, guys. So far, he has showed me so many iguanas out here. And tagged and everything. Yep. It's pretty sweet, y'all. Who you got put on? Look, no fishing danger. Keep out. Huh. Yeah. What do you think, Pedro? You think there's fish there? Yeah, bro. There'd be people swimming right here, so. Really? Yeah, so you could hook up somebody. But you can fish in this area right here in the bed. Well, there's a boat right here. You think we can just go on this boat? Holy crap. Look at this. Whoa. That is beautiful. That is really nice. Damn, look at all those fish right there. I think those are like snappers. Like Yo, fish. look at all that fish right there. That is beautiful right there. Dang, bro, we should have brought the fishing rod for real. For real, bro. Probably you're, you're not allowed snappers. To... Oh my God. Probably you're not allowed, to... not allowed to fish when people are here, but when nobody's here. Dude, I guarantee you there's like sharks and stuff in here, bro. This is the deep end right here. Let's go look over here, bro. I see some current right there, but I'm not seeing no fish. Maybe they could be hiding it somewhere, but this place looks cool, bro. It does. Kayak over here. Nice. There's got to be a lot of wildlife out here, bro. Yep. Hey, but we need to get some iguanas, though. You know what I'm saying? We do. Yeah? I'm hungry. The, Wait, you hungry? Oh, look, look, look. What? There's, there's holes over here. Where? Right here. Oh, my gosh. Look, there are holes. I think that's cub holes. Crab? Yeah. No way, bro. Crabs don't make holes like that, dude. They do. They do? Yeah. The uh, My friend said catch them. He would just dig and dig. He would just catch the crab. So you're saying a crab made that hole? Yes. What made this hole then, bro? A crab too. You're going to tell me a crab made this hole right here? Yup. I'm telling you. Bro. I don't believe that, bro. You sure? I'm sure. So you think we should leave a trap? Or you think we should dig it out? We could, do, we could dig it out. All right. uh, we don't know how deep is it. Exactly, bro. There's crab. If that's the case, there's freaking crabs everywhere, bro. And look, there's a smashed coconut. <laughs> They're probably needing that coconut. Yep. But wait, let's go over here. This looks like there might be a lot of fish here. It says no fishing, though, but hey, nobody's here. And look, there's a 
Whoa, look at that. There's like a... This place is sick, bro. It is. Well, I'm not seeing all you guanas out here. Maybe they're quarantining. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> or they're practicing social distancing. Those damn iguanas. Snapper. That's sick. You know how to swim, Pablo, or not? Yeah. Look at all these fish, bro. There's snapper down there, hundreds of them. I have some holy spots. Just found some coconuts, buddy. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five coconuts, two of us. That means we get two and a half coconuts each, bro. We do find a one iguana. We'll be eating good today. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's grab this coconut. Ah, oh, yeah. This cool. Oh, look, there goes one of those Agama lizards. Oh, His pig, too. Dude, there's more coconuts up here, bro. Holy crap. We're gonna be eating good, bro. We just gotta find the sequel. Oh Whoa. It's attacking the female. Dude, look how it moves, bro. It moves so quick. It's like low to the ground. It's super fast. Oh my god. Dude, we need to get the pole, bro. We know we where he's nesting. To. Yeah, we know where he's nesting. Yep. Holy crap. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Crazy. Gosh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Alright. Oh he oh no. Dang. Alright, bro, where there's where there's one, there's more. Why we're doing removal here at this park. As you guys can see, there are some cracks inside of that sidewalk right there. And if you want to act everything. If you look in this boat, look at that. What is that, bro? Guys, you guys gotta remember these are different types of iguanas that we're going after, okay? This is not the typical green iguana that we have there in Broward County. These are subtropical iguanas yep. that we are looking for because look at the climate we're at, guys. We're no longer in the forest of Broward. We're more in an island mangrove saltwater environment, saltwater ecosystem. So the iguanas, different subtropical subspecies of iguanas we're looking for, I can almost guarantee you that they're a lot smarter than the ones we're used to catching. There's nobody feeding them. Here, dump it out right there. Here. No, dump it, dump it out, dump it out, dump it out. There is. You got one. You got one, bro. Got one. You got one, dude. Nice. Here, I'll film for you. What you think it is? I have no idea. Let me see. You want me to wash it out? No, 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 no. We can see it. We can see it. We can see it. We don't want to get away. All right. Let me see. I'll tell you what it is. It looks like some kind of sand guppy or sand molly. It's definitely really cool. It's got some stripes. It's got a nice pattern on it. And the top, it looks like salmon or anything. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's perfect, bro. Dang, bro. If you had an aquarium, bro, you would <laughs> have a yeah, nice little I'll fish right it, there. Yeah. You want to put it back? Yeah. Just drop them right here. Let's watch them swim off. Nice, bro. Good job, man. All right. Check it out, y'all. We're out here at the beach looking for bait. These are the mullet fish, guys. This is a favorite fish for all predators to eat. Shark, cuda, tarpon, snook. But we're actually looking for smaller ones. This guy is way too big, but this is a perfect size you can eat if you really yep. wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But uh, who knows? We might keep this guy and we might cook him up later. Who knows? We might. I heard they're good bait for all sorts of things, so maybe we might use it for a trap later. Yeah. But, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more bait, and we'll be back with you guys in a bit. I, just, I bought a lot of lemon. Hey. They get right. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that's good, bro. That's some good stuff, bro. Mm. Then you did your thing, bro. Hey. Yeah. Oh, thanks, bro. Dang, this thing's seasoned good, man. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Tegus like to eat fish, right? Yep. They should. Dang, that's some good fish, bro. Damn, I can't believe we've seen the Tegu just walking like that in broad daylight, bro. Bye. That was insane. Right here, right? Yeah. This is the nest. That we saw the tank I'm trying to think of a good place to put it, man. I think. What do you think, bro? Look, this is why I think you should put the trap right there and hide it right there. Right in there? Yeah, for nobody take it. Okay. Nobody see it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, right there's perfect. Still filling? All right, cool. So we just placed the trap inside there. We're gonna add some leaves to cover it just to make it look a little bit more natural. We know the tegu is somewhere in the structure. They got really good, they have a really keen sense of smell. So we put some of that fish in there. Trap is set. Now it's time to just wait. <laughs> 